brought to you by GTA. We start with you. Next. Okay, thank you. Four thermal cameras have been deployed, operated by public health certified nurse assistants to screen arrivals as they enter the customs area and for departing passengers here in the terminal lobby as they head upstairs to the TSA screening checkpoint. To be clear, says Airport Deputy Executive Manager John Kinata, the scanners do not detect the coronavirus. They are there to detect individual temperatures. And so when these uh, scanners do detect a person that has an elevated temperature, that's when they take them into a, a processing area to, to go further into their assessment. So the scanners are just a tool. Uh, to be used to check a person's temperature. And Public Health Nursing Services' Zenya Piscina explains what happens if a person does register above the prescribed body temperature reading of 97.5 degrees. Then we go into what's called a secondary screening. And the secondary screening is in the back room where we have registered nurses there who do an in-depth assessment. And if the in-depth assessment rises to the potential for a person under investigation, the established protocol calls for the RNs to contact the territorial epidemiologist who will make the final call. They have the authority to deny a person from leaving. They have the authority also to quarantine that individual uh, uh, for an extended amount of a period of time. The scanning will be done around the clock. The airport says it currently is averaging about 24 flights per day, which translates to some 3,600 arriving and departing passengers. For Guam's News Network, I'm Nestor Lacanto. Brought to you by GTA. We start with you.